What's good, y'all, man? You know, hope y'all having a great week. Now, today I just wanted to make this video just because, like I said, man, like today is just one of those days where you just, you know, I ain't having the best day. I want to come on here and kind of talk about what I've been dealing with and, you know, just to show y'all that, man, like my life ain't perfect and I don't have all the answers to everything. And despite you may think that, you know, I got a good head on my shoulders, which I'm trying every day to be better, but, you know, it's just been like today's just for some reason been like very cloudy like and it's cloudy outside too but i don't mean it like that but today's just been like very i don't even know the word man it's just been like i don't even know i haven't like today i'm just like not motivated to really do much you know what i'm saying like i'm just kind of like in that mode where i'm just like you know processing things and really reflecting and you know really taking the time to figure out me figure out who i am you know and like i said i'm an unfinished product you know i feel like i'll get to a point where you know I'm at my best that I've ever been and I am at my best that I've ever been, but like every day is a new step. Every day is a new journey. Every day is a new, you know, task that I got to complete, you know, to get to where I'm trying to go. Today, I spent a lot of time, you know, talking to God. I've been spending a lot of time, like honestly, like in today, up until I made this video, like I've been spending pretty much like the whole morning with him. It's just like really talking to him and really having a conversation. Like I'm having a conversation now and just trying to get answers. And people gonna look at me like, yo, you really, you can have a conversation with God. Like how you know when he answers? Like, bro, you really gotta ask for him to answer. Like, I can't even tell you how he gonna talk to you because everybody, you know, how they process it is different. But like me personally, like when I hear God, bro, I hear him like right in here. And like, I can hear him talking to me. Like I just, it ain't even me just telling my stuff in my head. Like I really hear this man talking to me and giving me advice on what I should do. And I pray on him, man. And I just really just take the time to really build that relationship with him, especially what I'm going through now. I was talking to my boy yesterday on the phone. We were FaceTiming for a minute. My boy back home who, you know, he's going through some stuff too. And you know, he reached out to me and I just been so busy and not even busy, just like so in my own worrying about my own stuff that I didn't even take the time out to like make sure he was good. Granted, every time I tell this man, and I know you watching this, every time I tell this man, ask this man, yo, you good, bro? He tells me he's good, but like, we gotta start learning how to, how to, you know, be able to tell each other if something's wrong, be able to talk it out, be able to tell each other that we not okay. You know, growing up like, as a kid, like, I'm just like, today I was thinking about like, yo, I just wanna get back to, you know, being a kid, going back to when we were first, you know, kids, we didn't have no worries, man. We didn't have nothing to worry about. And then once we get older, we go through all this stuff in middle school. We go through all this stuff in high school, college that like shapes us to who we are once we get into the real world. But like, we dealing with all this trauma. We dealing with all this like negativity and everything like that. What can I do to get back to like when I had no worries? And I've been reading in the Bible app like about how to love your neighbors and you know how to stop worrying and how to trust God and like because we all spend like I read that we all spend. 80% of our time either worrying about the future or worrying about the past. The only 20% we're worrying about is like what we're going on right now, which is crazy. So, and I had to be honest with myself, like, yo, I really be doing that. Like, I really be thinking about my future. I really be thinking about stuff I did in the past, but I'm only thinking about the stuff I did in the past because, you know, I've done a lot of stuff in the past that like I'm not proud of, you know what I mean? So like, I was just like really thinking about it today. Like, yo, what, what have I done, you know, to people you know, that I probably didn't mean to do, but I was just young, I didn't know better, and we all didn't know better, you know what I mean? Like, I've dealt with a lot as a kid, man, growing up. Like, if y'all didn't know about me, like, I went to private school pretty much my whole life. So dealing with that, like, having to deal with being, like, one of the very few black kids in a like, predominantly white school, like, I ain't knocking private school. Like, like I said, it's got me to this point. Like, I, I, I wouldn't, if I had to do it over again, I would probably change a few things, but at the same time, like, I wouldn't because, like, it's got me here and I'm so blessed for that. You know, I've experienced so much stuff growing up that has shaped me to be who I am to this point, but like, I don't wanna be that person no more. Like, I don't wanna, I'm trying to unlearn those things. I'm trying to be, have the mindset I did when I was a kid before I started having to deal with, you know, being made fun of, you know, being picked on for being black, being picked on for all this stuff. So like, dealing with all that as a kid, like, shaped me to who I am, you know, what got me through to this point today. And that's just like, bro, I'm tired of it. Like, I don't wanna, I don't want to be dealing with that no more and this is stuff that i've like talked about you know with my therapist in the past like just dealing with like childhood trauma man and you know as a kid like i said i went to private school literally from elementary school middle school i went to public school for one year then i went back to boarding school but that was to play sports you know what i'm saying like i got recruited so i got blessed to be able to be in an opportunity in that environment just like dealing with all that stuff like 
I want, like I said, I want to go back to being a kid. You know, I had no worries in the world. I just was me. I was a loving kid, you know, always smiling, always having fun. Like, you know, it was a joy to look back and be like, yo, I want to be like that again. Once you get to, you know, school, middle school, specifically like elementary school, like you start dealing with stuff you don't even realize. And I didn't even realize this stuff until like a few months ago, talking to my family about it. Like, yo, I was really getting picked on for being black, man. Why you look, why your hair cut like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted to grow my hair out because like, I was ashamed of having short hair because everyone was shitting on me because I had, you know, my hair wasn't like theirs. Shout out to the people who were, you know, real ones who, you know, was rocking with me regardless, but there were people that, you know, especially like the principal of my, uh, of my, I would say like elementary and middle school, cause it was like K through eight. You know, he was a racist dude from Texas, like, you know, pick on me and really was trying to like, it was a ultimate racist. And I ain't even saying, I ain't even saying this to say it. Like I had, my dad had told me that like teachers from my, from my school when I got older, like, came down to him and would talk to him like, yo, are you gonna do something? Like this man was literally like purposely picking on your child and trying to get him like, like picking on him because he was black, because of who he was. And I always thought like as a kid until now, like yo, I, this is just the way things were. And I didn't even realize at the time, like I was really dealing with like racism. I was really dealing with like childhood trauma of being, you know, <laughs> being that person who was always like, felt like he stood out, felt like he wasn't good enough. So I kind of took that anger, man. and. You know, I just kept that up and it just like kept building and building and building and just kept to the point where like even today, like I still have stuff I got to release. I still have stuff I got to deal with. I think the most part was that like I just felt like I wasn't accepted. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to be, you know, a black man in a mostly predominantly white school. And I've been going to PWIs pretty much my whole life. And even now I look back, I'm like, damn, bro. Like, but that's just the way I was raised. You know what I mean? Like, that's just like my upbringing and my parents wanted to have, you know, wanted me to get an education that they didn't have. And I'm forever grateful for that. But, you know, the amount of stuff I had to go through feeling like an outsider, feeling like I was always different, but in a bad way, feeling like I wasn't accepted in the world. Like, you know, you keep all that anger up and it just keeps coming and coming. And it's just like, at a point, you just got to release it. Thought about going back and forth on, you know, really pressing charges on my, uh, my old principal who really, you know, was on my ass and was really trying to like get me kicked out of school. I'll tell y'all, I'll tell y'all two stories, man. So one time, you know, I was taking the test and I guess like, you know, when the principals be walking by, you know, making sure everything's going well in the class. Well, this man, I, I promise on God, like he thought he, he called me out for cheating, man. He said I was cheating. He said I was looking under the desk at the answers. Now I ain't gonna lie, man. I have cheated on tests before, but that's when like, I got to high school and stuff like that. Like, you know, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I ain't saying cheat, but at this particular time, like I wasn't, you know what I mean? So he tried to say that I was cheating um, and he tried to, you know, get me suspended from school. And me being who I am, I was like, man, I wasn't cheating. Like I proved to you right now because I'm always trying to prove people wrong. I'm always trying to, you know, get one up on people, which I got to work on. He said, if I gave you the, the test questions right now, will you be able to answer them all for all questions? I said, yeah. Oh, damn well, I was like, I don't know, man. But I just wanted, I didn't want him to, you know, feel like he was overpowering me. Felt like he, you know, was more superior than I was. So I really went to this man's office and, you know, he asked me the questions and I just like froze. I was like, bro, I can't even answer these questions because I was just in so much shock. Like how this man was really trying to like say I was cheating when I wasn't, but he just wanted to like, you know, get on my ass because of who I was. You know, he didn't really like black people. He was a dude from Texas down south. You know how it be, he was an old white dude and was really just like coming at me crazy. I didn't answer the question, so I ended up failing the test and I, I got accused of cheating for something I didn't even do. But at the time, like I was a, such a, I was such a young kid. I was like, bro, like, is this normal? Like I was thinking this is supposed to happen. Like it's just, God was just doing this to me because he didn't like me, man, that he wanted me to, you know, suffer. Another story, as I got older, you know, still same school, man, everything. When you get to that age of middle school, like everybody like hugging and, oh yeah, like, you know, we gave a hug, sixth, seventh grade, like, you know, when you meet a girl, oh hi, like that was like a big deal back then. You know, so I, I, someone came and gave me a hug. Like a white girl came and gave me a hug. Somebody snitched, a teacher snitched to him saying that I sexually harassed her and that I forced a hug. I got suspended for a day, just a day. Like first time I ever got suspended from school for giving somebody a hug. Yeah, everybody else was doing it, but because someone gave me a hug because I was generally just a cool person. Like I didn't want no problems. Like I knew what my place was. Like I knew 
like I just had to like get through school and just get home you know what I mean like I didn't really like being there as it was like but I knew what the greater purpose was and that was just to get you know an education that I wouldn't have if I was in public school not to say that public school was any better than you know private school but you know without it I'm definitely grateful for what I you know what I achieved going through that I got sent home they're like yeah sexual harassment all this stuff like man I really got suspended for one day for someone giving me a hug that I had no control over like and people were just hating on me man and you know dealing with that I was just like yo it's it's just crazy like the amount of stuff I had to go through shout out to all the teachers and you know everyone that supported me was really like looking out for me like I know y'all really couldn't I understand like why you all really couldn't say anything because at the time like you know you got to watch out for your jobs but you know the fact that they spoke up now and said and have said to my parents who have relayed to me like if I ever want to like press charges or I ever want to you know speak up about it or whatnot like they got my back and I appreciate that you know that's one thing I've been thinking about like it ain't even worth it ain't even worth like trying to press charges on the man because you know it happened at such a young age like I wasn't even aware of what was going on until I got older today thinking about it like I honestly if it was, if I could sit face it face him right now I'd be like yo you look at me now like he really thought I was gonna be nobody he really thought I was gonna be just another black dude who you know was gonna ruin his life you know what I mean he tried to be a part of that he tried to you know dehumanize me and make me feel like I wasn't important make me feel like I wasn't you know, good enough to, you know, be in that type of school or be in that type of environment with those kids who wanted the same education as I did, you know, so like it was tough. And like I said, like I still, all that anger was just like built up, but I let it out through sports, man. And I feel like that's just why I've been, you know, who I was up until, you know, I really started building my relationship with God. Like I was always just a kid that just started like being, you know, just that quiet kid, but like would speak up and always try to just be better than everybody. I felt like, you know, because I felt like I had to be. I feel like, you know, sports was a way of me expressing all that anger, you know, playing football, basketball, baseball. Like I was playing every sport just to like kind of let it all out. And I felt like that was the only place, especially on the basketball court, that was like the only place where I could feel free. That was the only place where like everybody like respected me. Everybody knew who I was. Everybody knew what I'd bring every time I step on the court. Like, I felt like that was just a time where, you know, I could just be me. And it was kind of like a therapy at a young age. And once I stopped playing, it was kind of just like, yo, now what, like, who am I? And, you know, that's why I'm at this point today. Like, I'm more than just an athlete, like they say. Like, I'm way more than that, I'm bigger than that. And I'm trying to just like take all that anger that I've had as a kid and all the shit that I had to deal with and kind of, you know, get away from that and just, you know, be a better person, go back to who I was as a kid before all this stuff started happening. I didn't even talk about like when I got to um, high school, cause I went to high school. Once I graduated that private middle school, I got to high school, I went to public school, man, for one year. And the, the, the amount of people who would like shit on me for being different because I came from like a different type of environment was like something I didn't even want to, you know, deal with. And I was like, okay, getting picked on for like dumps. Like, what are you wearing, bro? Like, why you talk like that? Why you talk like this? Like, man, that was just the environment I was in. I didn't even know what talking like a white boy, like acting like this was. Like, I don't even get that to this day. Like, this is just me. I'm just educated. I'm able to, you know, speak up. I'm really able to talk about what's going on in my mind. And, you know, because I didn't talk a certain way, like people didn't think I was like hood enough, cool enough, tough enough, but that's not the case, man. So it was just like more anger, just building up building up but when it came to sports like people respected me and people knew like nah don't play with him and even on the court like I just you know was a different animal and I just let that anger out on the court but I never actually dealt with it off the court thankfully like God like looking back like God blessed me with the opportunity to go to boarding school I had to deal with that all over again but at the end of the day it got me to college it got me a four-year degree you know it got me a chance to meet people from around the world and you know I'm thankful for all that but we ain't gonna get into all that just like just going on a rant right now you know, ain't really much like structure to this, but like I just had to let it out because I just been, like I said, I've been thinking about a lot and I just want to be better, you know what I mean, than I was yesterday. I was like just letting go of all the worries, letting go of all the anger, letting go of all this, like trying to be the big bad man, trying to be the Mr. Right, trying to always be, you know, the one that's, you know, always got to have the last word, always got to have the last laugh, always got to you know, always be right, you know, never could take L's. And if I could take an L on a basketball court and just like wake up and be like, all right, we on to the next game, we on to the next thing, how are we gonna do this so this don't happen? Like, I gotta treat that in life too. Like, 
you know, we all got to take L's. We can't always be right. And I feel like the reason why I always wanted to be right, I always wanted to be, you know, the alpha man and all that stuff was just because I was dealing with so much anger and dealing with so much stuff that, like, you know, I never really talked about. I never really dealt, you know, internally dealt with. But like I said, I feel like God got me. And I know God got me. I know God really about to put me on this this certain path that's going to lead me to getting me everything that I ever wanted and more in this life. And, you know, I just got to be humble about it. And like I said, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to be better. You know, I'm trying every day, but it's hard. I still find myself at times like, and this never used to happen before. So I know like I'm getting better. But like if I do something that I shouldn't have done or said something I should have, I shouldn't have said, you know, after I've said it, I like think about it. Like I reflect like, damn, should I have said that? What could I have done differently? Like what? should I have done in this instance and what can I do in the future to make sure it don't happen again? You know, I never used to think like that before and that's how I know like God taking this time with me and working with me because he's making me realize these things and you know, I gotta work through these things. Like I ain't gonna just change overnight. You know, it's gonna take a lot of work, you know, cause I've been, like I said, I've been the type that's just kept all my emotions in and just been the type to really just be quiet and keep my head down. But like if something bothers me, I'm gonna just all of a sudden like, like flip out and people just be like, yo, where's this anger coming from? Like, why are you always mad? And you know, I just never really told anybody why. It's just cause like, man, I had a <laughs> crazy childhood, but I'm so blessed for what I had to go through, what I had to deal with. Cause like, that was just, you know, God putting me through adversity to get me to this point right now. So like, I can't even, I can't even hate on the man. I like, it made me who I am right here. So, you know, I just wanted to, really like get that out and really just say like yo if y'all got any childhood trauma like you got any trauma relationship trauma like even i got relationship trauma man like i've been through it all like i got so much trauma that i gotta work through you know it ain't even funny but <laughs> i don't know why i'm laughing but it's true like i got so much stuff i gotta do with i got so much stuff i gotta work through that you know i'm i'm excited like i'm ready to attack it i'm ready to be just a brand new new and improved kid version but you know still can be serious at times isaiah man that's just like what it is i don't even know where i'm gonna go with this video i don't even know what i'm gonna call it i don't even know what i'm gonna just name it it's just like yo i just feel like i had to drop this video for anybody man if you're dealing with anything man you just gotta talk it out you gotta talk to somebody about it you can't just let that you know ball up and really take over because it really will have an effect on relationships that you have and anything that you do with from here on out until you deal with it, like it's just always gonna keep coming back. I'm just learning to really forgive myself for, you know, always being so hard on myself for allowing these things to happen and like saying, it's just not my fault, man. It's just the way life is, but you can't shoot yourself in the foot for it. Like you went through it, you got through it, it got you here. You can reflect on it, you can forgive yourself and then you can just try and move on and try to be the best person that you can be. And that's all I'm trying to do, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all worrying about me thinking that I'm not good. Like, I'm good, man. I'm telling y'all, like I said, like this is the best I felt because I'm finally learning to release all this stuff. I'm learning to, you know, deal with all this stuff before I never really dealt with it. I think it's just because I was so occupied with sports and, you know, just trying to be someone who I'm not. And, you know, I'm gonna keep working. We all ain't perfect, man. Don't try to live a perfect life, man. We all gonna have our days where we not feeling some type of way. We all gonna have some days where certain things are triggering us from our past. and. You know, we got to deal with that stuff, man. I'm trying to figure out what triggers me and how, you know, what I can do so that stuff doesn't, you know, trigger me when it comes up anymore, you know. And it's going to take time, man. You know, you just got to be patient. And, you know, I'm just not worrying about really too much things anymore besides, like, building my relationship with God and letting him handle it. Because <laughs> he going he gonna to work with me. He going to work with me every single day. I'm going to work with him. The more I spend time with him, the easier it's going to be. So I'm just trying to really, you know, find my peace. I feel like I'm at a point right now where I'm like having my peace but like I said man I'm still gonna have fun I'm still gonna be smiling I'm still gonna be trying to act like a kid again trying to mess around and just like have fun man that's just the thing I just want to have fun like a kid again I just want to be who God had me envision before I was even born like I said like he knew who I was gonna be before I even came out the womb and I give all the credit to him you know for everything that I've gone through because like you know most people I can't say I can't speak for everybody but like what I have gone through and, you know, what I've continued to go through, man, like, the fact that like, I've gone through all of this and I'm still here, that's how you know. That's how I know God loves me. That's how I know God got something, like, really, really, really special for me waiting at the end of all this, whatever I get through, 
but I gotta get through. I can't be worried because anything that I've, like I said, anything that I've gone through, all the trauma, man, like heartbreaks, L's, like everything that I've taken, everything, every punch that I've taken, I've gone through that, man, it's gotten me through here, like, and I don't even know why I'd be worrying about like certain stuff because like I always get through it. And when I look back, I'm like, yo, remember when this happened? Like, damn, yeah, but I got through that. Like, I'm here, you know? So just a bunch of stuff that's happened over the years. You know, you just got to really take a step back and look like everything, all the bad that you think that you couldn't get through, that you got through, like really just look and be like, yo, thank you, God, because God did that for y'all. You know, I just want to make this video for y'all, man, this little like life update rant type, like I said, it ain't, you know, I wasn't, there really was no purpose in me making this video, but like, I felt like I had to share this and share my experiences with y'all because, you know, y'all family now, all the ones that subscribe, like I appreciate y'all. If you are not subscribed and you see this video, man, just subscribe, man, like the video, whatever it may be. Like I said, like I always say, if y'all got any questions or concerns or y'all just want to talk, hit my email and let's get it. I'm actually in a better mood now that I got most of this out that I was thinking about and that I was dealing with. But like I said, man, I hope y'all have a great day. Stay blessed. Let's go, man.